get straight to it, bro. Tell us your story from Western Kentucky to UCF to draft prospect. Tell us, walk us through how that happened, how it came about. Let's go. Uh, so I got recruited by West Kentucky out of high school. Uh, that was my only D1 opportunity because uh, I wasn't really highly recruited. I only played uh, my senior year, so I didn't have too much. Um, I was I was pretty pretty under the radar, and uh, I took that uh, opportunity to go to West Kentucky as a preferred walk on. Um, that was my first time playing receiver, so everything was new. Um, on top of you know being new to football. And, um, you know, everything was going great over there at WKU. A little bit of a culture shock, you know, because I'm from Florida. So living in Bowling Green, Kentucky, you know. <laughs> right. So, but, um, you know, I enjoyed I really enjoyed the football over there. I think it really, truly uh, helped me fall in love with the game. It just – I had some things going on off the field, you know, with family that, you know, I just felt it was best that um, I had moved home, back home after the semester uh, ended uh, for the season. And um, that was probably the toughest time uh, transition through my life. You know, I took a whole year out of football. Um, I was just taking classes, working. I was still helping coach uh, wide receivers at my high school and whatnot. But, um, you know, I was out of the game for And luckily, um, I had practice film tape that I was my high school coach was able to send over to UCF, mm -hmm. and, which was at that time your coach, Coach Held, it was a recruit in my area. <laughs> oh, good old uh, hell, my man. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, you know, it just it just happened to work out. You know, at UCF because uh, what the so closest going to USF, but uh, Willie Tiger got the job over at Oregon, so that recruitment fell through. And then um, FIU was the next uh, destination. But then the same thing happened with them. Their whole coaching staff, you know, part of ways. And uh, the coaches recruited me. I think went to Arkansas. So UCF was last hope. And Held wasn't getting back to us at the time. So I just I just made the initiative to just go and roll in UCF for the spring semester. And I told my coach as I was driving up there, I said, hey, I, I enrolled in UCF. Um, I'm just going to go try a walk-on tryout, you know, there. Um, so I was going there, you know, risking it all, you know, not knowing what my future was going to be, whether it's going to be football or not. And I think it was on my, on my way there, my coach, I had called uh, Coach Held back up, you know, and tried to get him to watch the film. And he ended up watching it and told my coach right there, you know, we'll take him as a preferred walk-on. And then I found out that morning while I was in line for orientation that, you know, UCF would take me as a walk-on. And I was trying not to, you know, jump up in the line. Everyone's tired and <laughs> sitting in line for a morning orientation. But that whole uh, – that whole moment just switched, switched my mindset, you know, and I know I had, you know, another opportunity to go pursue this dream. And then, um, you know, when I first got to UCF, I'm not going to say it was easy because it wasn't, um, you know, football is probably one of the most challenging sports I've ever played. And especially coming in as a, as a walk on. And um, on top of that, as a transfer, um, you got a lot, I got a lot to prove and um, not as many opportunities as, you know, other guys who may be on scholarship. So, I took that chance and um, every opportunity I had on the field, you know, I, I went hundred um, percent, you know, whether it's scout team or um, I was taking reps with, you know, the actual team. When I first got there, I was ineligible that 2017 season, but um, you know, I took scout team to heart and I really took advantage of the opportunity to go against guys like Mike Hughes, Nabel Clark, uh, Shaquem Griffin, you know, all these guys on defense, Richie Grant um, every day in practice which, you know, I really think helped mold me into the role of, you know, becoming a better receiver. And then, um, you know, 2018, Frost, Frost staff left, uh, went to Nebraska, and then, you know, Heupel and his staff came in, and then it was right back down to the bottom again, you know. I was a walk-on, so, you know, new coaching staff comes in. You don't know if you're going to get kept on the team or not, you know, because, you know, you that's how you see, you know, a lot of walk-ons in that situation get let go just because of roster situations and guys that they're trying to bring in with them and recruiting. So that was another uh, moment right there. You know, I was like, you got to take every day. Like it's going to be my last because um, you just don't know. And <clears throat> with that, I took the opportunity, you know, this is going to be the first year I'm eligible to play and do whatever I can to go on that field. And special teams was the way to go. I uh, was able to work my way into starting on all four special teams 2018 season. 
And then um, that kind of led me into earning a scholarship um, about a couple games, four games into the season, I believe. Earned a scholarship and, you know, that was just everything. Everything as a walk-on, your main goal, you know, as I think I can agree with all, all walk-ons that come in college football is your mindset is how am I going to earn a scholarship? You know, how am I going to get school paid for? How am I going to earn this opportunity? And <clears throat> once I hit that, it was like, man, that's all I've been working for. Now, now what do I do? Now what I said, and now, now it's like, you know, got to play receiver. Now I'm trying to, you know, not just get on the field, but I'm trying to be a starting receiver. And 2019 was the first year that I was able to, you know, hop into that role of receiver and really uh, flourish in that position, get a couple of reps, you know, learning from guys like Gabe Davis and, um, and whatnot. And then coming to 2020, being more confident, um, and more molded into my role at receiver, got an opportunity to start, you know, most of the season and whatnot, and um, led me into ending the year big, ending the year how I needed to end it. Mm -hmm. And then coming into now I've got, you know, another opportunity, another stepping stone, you know, I'll take advantage of these next couple months, you know, training out here in Denver at Landau um, to make sure that I'm in the best shape possible to <clears throat> perform in front of scouts and hopefully – you know, get a chance to play at the next level in the NFL. I mean, that's, I think, what the ultimate goal is for everyone who comes in, you know, and tries to, you know, play college ball. Man, thank you. Thank you for sharing. There, there's a lot to unpack on this. That's this a is, lot. <laughs> I, so I, I didn't know that – I knew you came from Western Kentucky, but I didn't know that UCF was, like, your last chance or, like, it wasn't even on your radar. Yeah, Um Cause my coach, my coach knew that I wanted to stay in Florida, be closer to the family at that time. Um, and <clears throat> the three schools that we were really looking at uh, were UCF, USF and FIU. And UCF was really the only school that wasn't getting back to uh, my coach as far as on me. Cause I don't think, I don't think they watched the film or whatnot. And um, <laughs> so they were the only ones that weren't getting back. And it's, it's crazy. I look at it now and I think it's crazy how you know, things ended up working out. Yeah. Um, I'm so thankful that it worked out that way because, I mean, <laughs> the, the teams that have been a part of at UCF is pretty remarkable. Yeah, I love the fact that when you were telling your story, you said like you just kind of took a leap of faith and you just, you just went, like, I'm going to UCF. And then literally everything fell into place day by day, semester by semester, year by year to where you are now. Like, that's, that's huge. Yeah. Yeah, that's pretty it's like I said, you know, that morning I wasn't uh, a UCF football player. I was going to be a UCF student. And then within a couple hours, that all changed and kind of, you know, put my world upside down. 